We are live. Let me refresh this thing and make sure YouTube is set. All right. Can you see me? Can you hear me? What if I do like that sexy voice? Let me see who's here. Uh, Stat Pat, Brown Town Finds, William Perry, Fly Kicks, Swoop Man, Patrick. Uh, wow, nice shoes, the man, Mr. Information in Hand, True Win, Hustle Crow, Michael, Resell Freak, Vintage Body, Astro Drip, Josh Leva, and Palma, Koo Kicks, what up? Patrick, what's up? Uh, Lucky on Three Legs, Many Fresh, Puma Hustler, Miles, One Kick Finder, more people coming in. So the B is going to be late. He'll be joining us, uh, I guess, via soundbites. That's weak. I know, super weak. Uh, but he'll be here. I don't know where he is. I don't know what he's doing. He will jump in. I don't know when. Uh, the Plug, Justin, D-Bay. Uh, before we start, though, Ross, come on. What's going on here? So the last, I don't know how many days, but Ross hasn't had crap. Like, and I know this because I've been seeing Brian. I've been seeing some of the resellers that, that are, you know, usually out there in the fields and nothing. I've seen people scoop up, I don't know, like random women's clothing, Nike stuff here and there. But as far as like shoes things like that. Oh man, it's disgusting out there. Ross, what happened? Uh, let me see. Deborah, what's up? Miles, yeah, Ross has been trash. The plug, Ross, super trash. Uh, let me see. Oh, big money, Mo. Uh, B is in Chicago kicking it, William Perry. Secret Finds 12, what's up? Deborah says Ross has been trash. Also, uh, Ross raising prices, magnetic souls. Interesting. Uh, Broadway B, what's up? Now leaving Burlington dry. One kick finder, nothing. My timeline has been nothing but Burlington and Marshall's finds. Miles uh, sniped a lonely pair of Jordan 1 cleats. Astro drip. Uh, let me see, Victor, what's up? Dominic, too legit. Christian, Johnny. And oh, smooth sailing. Good to hear from you. Coming out of the hospital soon. Yeah, I sent a DM wondering what's going on. Glad uh, you are recovering. Keep me posted. Uh, send me the DM uh, when when you are out. Tyler says, I can't say my Ross are any worse than my Burlington. Uh, let me see. Deborah Green, the prices. Women's skirts, $12.99 three months ago. $16.99 in summer. Same skirts. Uh, oh, so I guess they went up a little bit. Price Assassins, what's up? District Deals, Lauren, and uh, Patrick Jordan Mids, 69 bucks at the outlet. It was crazy as soon as the doors opened. Sneal Knight, what's up? Magnetic Souls, uh, 80 bucks for the Clot Air Max, five and a half. I did see that. But the funny thing is that shoe was overpriced to begin with uh, when it came out and at the outlets. Like, they were wildly you know, price is like, come on, man. And uh, the outlets couldn't even get rid of those. I remember those uh, sitting there for so long. Uh, Gilmar, what's up? Omar, Carlos, Elliot, more people coming in. Mr. More Mo, Swoop Man. Uh, so many people with stimmy money buying up everything. I agree. Okay, let's get this in here. Where's our slideshow? And we'll see when the bee jumps in. All right, into the updates. We got our uh, sneak preview. Jordan 1 High Pro Multicolor releasing in September. So interesting thing here. We got this swoosh down here. Uh, kind of like right after the laces in between the toe box, everything. So swoosh in here and different color panels. Black, gray, beige, light blue. It's almost like a what the color. <laughs> I don't know what to think about this. Uh, what's good? Did you get the Travis khakis? No, that's from Ronnie. 
Uh, let me see. Love the content. Appreciate that. Nikolai took an L on, on Hibbit Raffle. Kicks with the soul. Uh, let me see. Got a pair of 11 low size 12. Hit me up. Lauren, there we go. Um, I like these, says Miles. So Miles definitely digging them. So smash or pass in the chat on the Jordan 1 High multi-color. Tell me what you think. Wow, look at that. <laughs> Let me see. What's up, Baker Brand? Let me see. Clean Shoe, D-Bay, and Smash Umpire. What's up, Smash? Well, that's the thing, though, is that Hustle Crow Thumbs Down. We have so many different shoes coming in or coming out that people don't even know what to get now. I mean, we got the 11 Lows. We got the Citrus Lows for women's. We just saw the Travis. We got um, Hyper Royals just came out not too long ago. We got Shadows 2.0 coming out. We had the rent, uh, the red uh, Flint 13s. Now we got Flint 7s that are coming out. Uh, crazy stuff. So people got to figure out what they really want. And more than likely, they're going for all hype. That's what I would think. Next, first look on the Jordan 12 utility. How do we feel about the 12s? Smash or pass for the collection. Would you rock these? How do you feel about the bottom here? Um, this part, I don't, the sole, I don't, doesn't look like that recycled material because it has, hmm, the recycled material has like different colors in there. This one just looks like white specks, so I don't know. Uh, let me see, 12s are trash. Austin, uh, smash on the 12s. Umpire, eh, Robert, pass, DB. Those 12s look hot, well, nice. Uh, Eddie says, hood shoe. <laughs> so Coach Steve, just say no. I like 12s. These are a pass. Look like work shoes, Ronnie. Uh, they look all right, Kukix. kicks. They're nice, utility. More like Jordan 12, useless, like on three legs. What's utility about it? Price Assassin's asking. That's a good question. What is utility about this? Uh, they will sell out, says Elliot. 12 lows better than 12s, says Austin. And uh, let me see. Glenn, tell them to smash that like button. JB, appreciate that. Smash that like button. Maybe we get more thumbs up. B will show up out of nowhere. <laughs> Uh, to see discount tire special are those red wings. So interesting take on a 12 utility. Uh, we'll see when this comes out. All right, on to the news. Now, my boy Will sent me this in the DM. He's like, hey, did, did you see this? This news on eBay? eBay says open to accepting to cryptocurrencies in the future, exploring NFTs. Okay, my response, what they should be exploring is immediate payment for best offer. I don't care about cryptocurrencies right now and NFTs from eBay. Give us what we want, immediate payment with best offer, and we'll go from there. One step at a time. We can't push it with eBay. Um, <laughs> come on now. And so it says a growing number of companies have begun to accept virtual currencies as a form of payment. We know this. Uh, eBay is looking on this new form of payment, of course, of the future, looking at ways to get the non-fungible tokens on its platform, they said on Monday. Uh, let me see. It's hype, says Michael. Laugh out loud facts, man. eBay still doing too much. They're totally focused on the wrong stuff, like, Man, let's you you take a photo of a card and you just list the cards. No fees for shoes. One hundred dollars. One fifty. Now we're backed up. Now we're accepting Puma and RBX. One hundred dollars and more. Let's get into crypto. It's like, dude, like eBay has so many other issues to fix. This this is the least. Like they should not be focusing on this at all. Uh, let me see, Austin, bro, I'm up 4K on crypto today. There you go, Austin. Uh, they're confused, the big money mo. Fix your site. Totally agreed. They can't get their current payment right, and they're still adding those cool kicks. Exactly. Hustle and muscle, what up? Coach Steve, need to focus. 
Uh, let me see. Immediate payment year 2050 still not updated. Uh, let me see. What's up, Southtown Finds? Uh, I made it through most of my death pile today. There we go, Mr. Mormo. They're going from problem 12 and toward, moving towards number one. Exactly. Uh, how's the Yeezy collection coming from Dapper? Uh, Kevin, good evening. What's up? All right, let me see. eBay lost eight of the six shoes I sent them for authentication. What the hell was going on there? John, tell us more. What's the story on that? Uh, any other issues, authentication, please tell me in the chat. Uh, today I did get, let me tell. Uh, let me give a little update. I got a Clippers Paul George jersey taken down. Uh, apparently... It was taken down from them for counterfeit. Interesting. Never had that happen before. So I definitely called them. And they said it was from an automatic system that they have going on that's been checking listings to see if there's any uh, fakes and replicas of Nike products. And apparently it flagged that one. So uh, I called them and they couldn't figure it out, of course. And they'll get back to me tomorrow. Uh, other than that, authentication, what else did I have? Nothing else recently. I had another return, which that always that always happens with random stuff. But that was it. Uh, more returns from eBay buyers more than ever, says Mary. I'm done with eBay smooth selling. Uh, selling more on Facebook Marketplace now, says Alan. I've had six listings taken down because of Vero. Man. <laughs> Uh, Kukik, stop selling figs. Exactly. Um, let me see. I'm pretty sure another seller flagged you, says Dapper. Well, that's why I called them to see what was happening. And they told me it was from that they ran automatic, um, I guess like an automatic system today on Nike products. So I don't know if anybody else got that, but they said it was from their automated system. Let me see. I just sold something, a shoe. <laughs> Who would counterfeit? <laughs> Paul George. Genghis Khan. All right. Good point. How are your sales? Now we know the B, great sales. Flexing on IG, big time numbers. But how is everybody else doing? eBay, StockX, Goat, Mercari, Poshmark, where else? Mile High B was trolling, Glenn. Uh, did you take a a pick of the big grade stamp, mention it on the description. Uh, big Money Mo. Big Money Mo is saying they declined my B grades and it's a defect on the account. What the hell? You know what? That happens with GOAT too all the time. Like if you if you list something as damaged box or B grade and then they come back at you like the, the box was damaged, please send a, a, a discount to the customer. I'm like, man, I listed this as, you know, messed up damage box. I don't know why GOAT does that. B equals 2.5 million sales in April. <laughs> you know what? Pretty soon, B may not even be able to make it for the lives. I mean, the numbers are so high. Why waste time and effort on us with these live shows? There's no point. You're just making that big money. You know what I mean? Wow, look at that. <laughs> um, let's see, eBay is slow. Rock the kicks. eBay has been weak. Goat good. Coach Steve. Tax the B. Astro Drip. Uh, Josh, eBay has been on fire. Goat number one. Mercari number two. Miles. Sales are good on eBay. I list 10 items a day on eBay. And Daily Active has me at a 45% sell-through rate. There we go, Austin. Um, definitely... You know, you push out those daily listings, you definitely see the results. eBay is fire for me, Hawaii Rams fan. eBay great, goat slow. Let me see. Brian, he's too good for us peasants. <laughs> oh, man. B is leveling up. B likes to relate to us common folks once in a while. Uh, still doing great on eBay. Oh, resell freak, I know. He's been doing good. I've been seeing those pickups. Uh, B got that FU money now. <laughs> List every day, sell every day. All is up. I would expect nothing less from Big Money Mo. 
Of course. What am I supposed to do with $12 profit? I got kids. Let me see. eBay need to send me the algorithm. I sell good on eBay. Up all around. Mile high hustle. So nice. Keep at it. That's good. All right. Let's get into weekend releases. Supreme Air Max 96 on Thursday. I don't know the prices, but we do got black. We got white. We got camo. Smash or pass for the collection or to resell Air Max 96 and Supreme. I want to see, I want to hear, let's see what uh, everybody has to say about these. Uh, Supreme will also be releasing two pairs of branded socks that will be able to peek through the windows on each shoe. So there you go. You get to peek through in there. Um, <laughs> let's see, cat for resale. Uh, smash, pass, black one is fire. Pass, smash. Um, see, thumbs down, two thumbs down. Fly kicks, hustle crow. Turrible resale freak. Camo for resale, says Anna. Uh, let me see. Are those holes? Yes. <laughs> they are holes. Uh, would sell out in five seconds. Same as the tailwinds will end up in Burlington. So they got these little peep holes on the side. And I don't know how I feel about that. Does it matter? I don't know. But you can definitely see through the socks. Toe windows. Yuck. Garbage will sell out in two milliseconds, no doubt, says Steve. All right, so that was it for that one. Let's see. So good luck tomorrow. I definitely agree with Anna. Let's do the uh, camo. You know what? The black one might do good, too, I think, out of these out of these three. I didn't even know the 96 existed. There we go, Josh. Next. Nike Overbreak Khaki 140. And another Mars Yardis colorway of the Overbreak shoe. Let me see. Tan, nylon, suede, upper, smoky, rubber, toe cap. And a bright teal swoosh. And a chunky Overreact midsole. How can you not see this? 140. This has to be an outlet shoe, right? These look comfy for the personal. They probably are a little, a little comfy. <laughs> glory holes. <laughs> Koo kicks on the other one. Oh, supreme, supreme glory holes too legit. Uh, let me see. Look comfy for the personal. A good thing B is in here. You guys get them riled up. Wow, look at that. <laughs> let me see. Midsole, very odd. Uh, looks like a shoe that is sick. Yeah, look. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know what's going on here. Why is it even here in this? On this countdown. You know what? Let's go to the next. Women's Jordan 11 Low Bright Citrus. 185. We're all the old stinker heads. You know, back in my day, lows didn't cost 185. What were they back in the day? Like 130? 135? Comes out on Thursday. And look at your apps and see what stores are getting them. Uh, I checked... My stores, we're not getting these. So I don't know if they are somewhat limited or not. I just don't like how, I think they're just pretty plain. Like I don't see anything else. I mean, the sole and the Jumpman Jordan right there in the middle are the only things like a citrus color. Everything else, pure white. So obviously the shoe's going to get dirty and scuffed pretty quick. Definitely going to take care of them. Uh, but 185 plus tax. Very clean. Clean. Too legit in D-Bay. Need a different color bottom, JB. Uh, let me see. Thank, thank you for showing me how to resell. I want all the smoke. There we go. Uh, bringing back the OG colorway. Price, crazy love, 11 lows for the personal. Hustle Crow thumbs down. Uh, they were 65 back then, William Perry. Uh, let me see. Accident waiting to happen. They're calling them the summer shoes. Clown outfits guaranteed with this shoe. All right, Astro Drip, let's go. Next one, another 11 low. Legend Blue. So 185 as well, same price, men's, women's. Uh, comes out on Friday. This is, Here's an interesting thing on the shoe. They come out on Friday. So do not get mixed up. You know, we had like random drops on a Wednesday, random drop. Most of them are on Saturday. This one on Friday. Sneakers app, select retailers. 
I feel like they kind of did this. They're kind of like postponing it a little bit here and there. And now with like, you know, Mother's Day kind of coming up. I think originally it's supposed to be kind of like an Easter shoe. And now they're just kind of waiting it out. And finally they're coming out. So 185. I wonder what the resale value will be on this. I don't know. Inspired by the Columbia 11, which is a totally different shoe. When you really think about it, low and the high. Just come on. Big difference. Let's see, clean. Won a raffle for these first W of the year. There we go. Miles. Mr. Sports LA, what up? Juan finish line, BKK. Um, it's cool, but I don't like the empty space in the middle. Quick flip. Uh, another sneakers draw equals L. Manny Fresh, good point. I was kind of surprised that the uh, 13s, the red flint, was on draw. I was like, draw on sneakers app. I would think that would have a lot more uh, for that shoe. I don't even think it's going to be that difficult, and I guess it was. I mean, everything at this point, whatever GRs, Nike, and Jordan Brand are plopping out, everybody's just buying them. Nike testing the waters for a real Columbia drop. Could be. Um, let me see. Everything resells now, for sure. Big Money Mo. Only 28 likes exactly, Hungry Hustle. I don't like that. We have over 160 people watching. Hit that thumbs up. Hit that thumbs up so B shows up. Um, everything is hard to get now. Mr. Sports LA, I agree. Adjust your prices up for inflation. <laughs> uh, Red Flint instantly everywhere. Uh, let me see. Or are we three pairs? All great school slept on since James. And uh, there we go. Bot boys taking L's now. Asking Pat from Patrick. Almost everything is a draw now. Never want anything stinkers app on draw. Over 40 L's and counting from Manny Fresh. Man, that's how difficult it is. They had an interesting conversation on uh, Tony D2 while on his show. And they were talking about, you know, uh, some of the collectors and stuff are saying how. You know, YouTubers that do, like, cop or hold or things like that, like, that YouTubers have a lot of influence on on why resellers hold on to shoes or things like that. Personally, I it's all about the supply and the demand. And Nike and Jordan Brand, if they really wanted to make enough shoes for everybody, they would. If they wanted to go, like, a pre-order route to where everybody could get a pair they would. They're not. They're doing it this way because they know they could build up a demand, build up a hype, and that's how they're going to keep it running. And resellers always be out there because there's less shoes of every drop now. And yes, they are getting harder to get. But Nike knows what they're doing. That's why they're doing that. Um, let's see... Uh, let me see. Where are we? Uh, Yeezys for everybody. Um, taking, I'm taking W's and search a draw. I'm liking it a lot. There you go. Fly kick. So somebody's getting some W's on there. Uh, let me see. I'm glad reseller slept on a patina. Got my parrots fire. Let me see. Nike is the biggest reseller on StockX. <laughs> Here's the thing that people need to understand is that we also talked about this on Level Up. You see, remember how we talked, me and B did a live show, when was this? Like Over a year ago. Goat and Foot Locker, which of course Foot Locker, part of Champs, Foot Action, they're all in one, right? Remember they had a deal to where Goat and Foot Locker were working together. And people were like, how is that going to, why are they working together with a resale brand? What What does that mean? Is are they going to have like goat shoes inside foot lockers? Like, how is that going to work? Here's the thing is like foot locker. That's why going through the app flex points is made for resellers. They want resellers to get these shoes. Who spends the most money at these stores? Resellers. And we're going to build up the most points. We're going to get the most shoes. And they're also hoping that you're going to buy it from Foot Locker, Foot Action. They're going to make your money from you. And then you're going to resell it on GOAT. And guess what? They get to make, from, make money from you and the buyer again. They get to double dip 
from one shoe selling from technically they're all together they want resellers they want it to happen so there we go all right we need to unionize glad <laughs> it says james um all right nike plus resellers was buyers positive sum game symbolic relationship there we go flex points totally for resellers i'm trying to keep up so tufts is cool kicks and um Yes, they're all owned by Woolworth from back in the day. Flex points is trash for Hawaii. Hawaii uh, Rams fan. Um, this sounds like some hedge fund BS intramorph. And for sure, Ku kicks. Okay, let's go to the next. Concepts. Kyrie 7, 150. Concept stores, concepts.com. How do we feel about the Kyrie's in this color? Almost like a little Hustler Hacks colorway in there, right? A little bit. Got a little orange. Maybe Miami Dolphins. Maybe. Got a gold swoosh in there and uh, kind of like a light blue on the side panel. Let's see. Big Money Mo, we all work for Nike. Can't even build up flex points. Nothing to buy. Brilliant dominance. Pass on every Kyrie, that, but it might sell. Uh, let me see. Definitely a great point. Thrift to flip. Uh, you don't want low points to be able to win raffles. It would be like sneakers and bots will eat. Uh, let me see. Man, not bad. And trash. All right, next. New Balance 550, And, hey, a lot of New Balances coming out for the summer and spring look. I've been seeing people on uh, IG and YouTube posting their spring and summer fits. And New Balance is a big part of that. They like a little vintage look. How do you feel about that in the chat? So 80s basketball sneaker in three new colorways, white leather upper, gray suede toe overlays, yellow, burgundy, black, options all up for grabs, 120 on Friday. New Balance is back, baby, says Miles. Uh, old school trash, fly kicks, they're ugly though. No, no, no. I'll mow the yard in them. Pass until I see them at Marshall's, says Patrick. We'll see. Fuego, there you go. Astro Drip says fire. New Balance is on fire, says Josh. So I've been noticing the trends I've been seeing out there. New Balance. That's where it's at. Next, Friday, May 7th, Lego Adidas ZX8000. Now they're continuing their partnership with Lego by releasing six new colorways on Friday. Now we get each dressed in tonal colorway to represent the very uh, various colored Lego blocks. We get official Lego logos on each tongue tag, white and yellow three stripes uh, branding, and heel counters made to look like Lego pieces. Black, red, yellow, blue, green, and gray. Options are all available. Didn't these come out already? There are no resells for these, but great for Lego fans. There we go, Brilliant Dominant. I thought they did come out already, too. Hmm. Oh, maybe this is a different type of Lego one? I don't know. Definitely going to be bricks for sure. Ku Kicks. Oh, man. <laughs> Lego pass. Um, give Ku Kick. We're, we need some uh, something. Ku kicks. Uh, oh, we go pass. Only like the ultra boost version. There we go, Miles. Maybe that's what we we're thinking of. Ultra boost version. We're not done. Yeezy in flame, two hundred bucks. So blue and orange. Didn't, we, didn't the last Yeezy come out was also blue and orange? New York Knicks type of colorway. We get more blue and orange. Uh, Earth toned brown and tan upper, accented by navy blue suede overlays. And sits atop a bright orange soul. JB says, hell no. Josh Leva says, fire. Let me see. Fire. Oh, yeah, the 700. Honestly, these are ugly dad shoes. People have been hyping them up for resale. Smash like this colorway a lot. Hustle Crow doesn't have to say anything. Just gives us a thumbs down. 500s are ugly. Um, that ain't blue and orange. El Gronk. Um, let me see. These will double on retail, if not more. Pass, but resale will be good. Looks inflamed. Uh, needs to be put on fire. So that's from Mr. Sports LA. We are not done. More releases. 
on Saturday. So after you pick up your 11 lows on Friday, you will go in to the stores and will you, maybe you won't, pick up a Jordan 7 Flint on Saturday. So Friday and Saturday, back-to-back -back releases. 190 plus tax on the 7s. This pair stays true to the OG with gray nubuck upper. White leather overlays. Hints of court purple and the seven signature multicolored pattern on the tongue. Let me see. Resell for sure. Smash. These were slept on back in the day, says Miles. Let me see. You might have to consider these. Intramorph. I want for the personal. Let me see. Got the confirm from Hibbit on the 11s. Kevin, congrats on there. Um, not mad at him. This is James. Uh, when uh, when have Jordan 7s had resale value? Who knows at this point? Anything can happen, Koo Kicks. I agree with you, but man, GRs everywhere. People are just getting whatever. So it could happen. Not to say that these aren't clean, but it could happen. Yeah, 190, too legit for sure. Same thing as like the uh, Red Flints that just came out. They're 190. Uh, two minute releases, I can't keep up. Magnetic Souls. That's the thing that I was saying last time. I don't know. It's just, there's just too many things coming out. So people have to make a decision. What do they really want? What are they going to put their money on? And for the most part, it's going to go to ones. I mean, that's whatever, ones and dunks. But I think there's also people out there get the 13s, get the sevens and more. All right, I'm going to wait till May 15th. If you know, you know, John R., I agree. That's going to be a whole nother conversation. Oh, man, we're not done. SB Dunk Low Magic Mushroom. Sneakers have been select retailers on Monday, 125. So latest collaborator to put its spin on the SB Dunk Low is the brand Stingwater. So inspired by Magic Mushrooms. And their mythical properties. <laughs> Who writes this stuff? Uh, let me see. Uh, B in the building says uh, Miles. Let me see. B says he's almost home. Uh, wifey wants it for the personal one kick finder. Uh, let me see. Looks like something Cam Newton would wear. <laughs> Fire on the mushroom zapatos. Zapatos, you know what? Good thing you're here. NFL schedule will be out very soon. We will see when the Bucks play the Dolphins. So I'm interested. I'm hungry. I need to get out. I haven't been out. haven't been anywhere. But out-hustled, you know what? We need to get an out-hustled before football, any of that stuff. Maybe late summer. Out-hustled needs to be back. Um, all right. Let me see. Need a bigger swoosh, and I'll try for those dunks for sure. I'm ready to take my L from Josh Manetic Souls Super Smash. All right, let's go to the power rankings. You know it's time for this. We got to get into it. We are over 30 minutes in, and we need more thumbs up. Thumbs up, and the B will be in. More thumbs up. The B will drive faster, get home faster, and he'll jump on the live. Now, what city are you thinking about? That's a good question, Koo Kicks. But if we do... Florida in the fall, then we have to do something west, late summerish, right? But at the same time, for out hustle, it's like Ross has been pretty dookie right now. So is the outlets. So we also got to wait for at least some stores to kind of build up a little bit. You know what I mean? Let's get into the power rankings. Ross, two and a half. This is the only thing that could somewhat save us. Kobe jerseys are out there. $13, Sneakers Unite. This is not the only person that has found a Kobe jersey out there in the wild. Um, other people, too, on hashtag Ross finds. There was maybe three or four other people that did find the Kobe jersey. So I would say this, Mr. Sports LA, Maximo finds. All my Kobe fans, we must come together. The foot soldiers must unite. And we must find these Kobe jerseys and let's see what kind of sizes are out there. We must, we can, we will find these jerseys out there. $13. All right. Let me see next one. 
we got other jerseys out there. We got Lowry, Raptors, Maple Fines, Trap Al Bundy with the Washington Capitals and Dallas Stars. And we got Oregon Flip Fines as well. And keep going. We got Kurt Lee Goods, Ross Guru. And we got PSG Soccer Vests. Uh, let me see. What else do we got? Small Time Thrifter. And a Trail also picked up uh, the Miami Hurricanes pants. Very nice. Let me see. News Team Assemble. Only found Clippers. What a steal. I will find you, Mamba. There you go, Maximo, my boy. Uh, let me see. I haven't found any jerseys. Brilliant Dominance. Ross Guru continuing to kill it out there. Ross Guru. Uh, Project Oregon, such good money. Yeah, there we go. Kurt Lee Goods and Small Time Thrifter. Bam 24 Kicks. I think it's like a LeBron vest. Interesting. Uh, Leva out here, Chelsea Jersey. Brian found a couple of things. Pants, cleats, and more. And HL Resell. Uh, HLW Resell. Barcelona pants and some other Nike pants in there. So good clothing finds. USA basketball shorts. I've not seen these out there. I wouldn't mind having one for the collection, but we got XL and I don't know the sizes here, but CNJ Enterprises, little this and that, and 15 bucks. So good deal there. Faith Lopez and Air Max Pusher, $13 on the PSG. Retail on it looks like 60. 80? I don't know. 60 or 80 bucks on there. Next. Oh, my boy Los in the building. We got cleats. We got PSG. PSG jacket, $13. I guess because it's size 4XL. Uh, let me see. Lo-Fi sneakers with the Gore-Tex under armor, $60. Phantom GT. Tans finds. There we go with the pink. 20 bucks. USA shorts are fire, Mrs. Sports LA. I agree. Next, jerseys. Steven sells big money on that jersey. Um, I think it's like this. Yeah, I said second time finding this. Good money in there. Uh, Penguins jerseys out there. DK Soul Shop. We got Martino Fines, Resell Freak, and good money on the Zubads. Uh, let me see. Let me see if we can get this on here. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, uh, here he is. One of the most beautiful resellers there is. The hustle. <laughs> uh, let's see that Jordan shirt that you're rocking. Huh? Let me see that Jordan shirt. This oh. one? Yeah, very, very colorful, very out there. I, I like know. I mean, got to switch it up a little bit. Yeah, exactly. So the B is in the building. Everybody say what's up to the B in the chat. James, hate, hate, hate. <laughs> Player haters ball. Uh, is that Spider-Man? No, it's actually Jordan. <laughs> Let me see. Uh, Price Assassin says you're late. Do you have matching shoes? No. Oh, okay. So we're in the threes, though. Threes. Threes. There we go. BKK says B looking like money. Oh, thank you, thank you. Thank you. Thank Be you. with the Ultra HD 4K camera. Dude, you know what it is, Glenn? It's, I just turned on my light a little bit more brighter. It's the lighting. That's, That's what, it, what is. it is. So I was going to start out the show with this news, but since you weren't here, I couldn't. But now that you're here, oh, I saw wow. this come up. Oh, bro. Yeah. So so tell me about Jordan Brand signing Filipino basketball star Kiefer yeah. Yeah, Ravenna, yeah, Kiefer Raven Ravenna, yeah. Uh, his OG, you know, uh, he he kind of like he's he was very close with Nike. That's what I would say, and I think it was very fitting that that they would sign him. Um, unfortunately, he's not that really good of a player now anymore. So it's kind of weird. Like he's kind of like he plays a lot more of international games mm -hmm. and kind of like the three on three FIBA games and stuff like that. But uh, he's never really played. Uh, had a really long stint in the professional league there. But, but he's yeah. I, I mean, he's got some swag. That's for sure. Because he was close to Nike, 
and you know he he was the first one that got those Manila fours. Oh yeah, I did see that. Yeah, so so like we kind of we kind of wasn't sur weren't surprised anymore. I thought it was kind of like a delayed announcement, but yeah, that's that's cool that you know first Filipino they signed him. Yeah, I did see that. And you know what? I give it to Jordan Brand signing him, and then it's really cool. But the thing is, signing a Filipino star, I'd rather see them sign a bigger star. A star that's working hard, a star that puts in the time, the oh. effort to make money. Like and who? I was kind of disappointed to see this photo. I did not. This is the one I really wanted to see. <laughs> Jordan Brand signs Filipino basketball star, The Hustle Bee. <laughs> this is what we wanted to see when I opened my app. Like, I don't know who the other dude is. Bro, for real, bro. I mean, he kind of looked like my, you know, my twin with, you know, 30 pounds lighter or something like that. <laughs> that's what I figured. <laughs> You know what? Yeah. We got a funny though. Jordan Brand signs first reseller. <laughs> <laughs> dude, dude, it'd be drama first day right away. Yeah. <laughs> be like, That'd be hilarious. Instead of people congratulating, they'd be like, oh, I make more than that. Oh, he don't make that much ROI. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> oh, man. That's what we wanted to see. Jordan Brand signs first reseller. Bro, if, if they want press, they want press first reseller if they hired the first jordan brand reseller man <laughs> Life crazy. lifetime deal with lebron yeah lifetime deal you know but but <laughs> the problem is yes they would sign you but you can only rock team jordan <laughs> <laughs> bro i would decline i'm sorry i would decline <laughs> what, what would you do glenn money on the table all you could do all you can rock is like team jordan I mean, like, the latest Team Jordan, that's all you get. The funny thing is, like, if Jordan Brand signed you, your shoe would still be better than Zion's. <laughs> <laughs> oh, bro. I mean, well, because he's just, like, a ripoff of a Team Jordan. Yeah, right? Like, the Team Jordan is a ripoff of the retro. And then <laughs> the Blake Griffin, Carmelo is, like, a ripoff of a Team Jordan shoe. <laughs> but, but, bro, oh, like, but, yeah, it's... Poor, poor Jordan, Jordan Brand. Even the sevens, like I heard one of the employees say, "Foot Locker, like, man, those are trash. They look like Team Jordans." <laughs> <laughs> those oh, are trash. Disrespect. <laughs> <laughs> like, how dare you? Yeah, man. All right, where were we money, in here? Money is money now, man. Money ain't everything if you got to rock Team Jordan. I'm sorry. <laughs> I can't. I'd rather rock soccer cleats, man. Oh, I man. Can't. Dude, I can't. He can't. He won't. Hey, look at that. Somebody, somebody's going to hook you up with a C920 cam. That's what, actually what I have. Oh, man. Free up. Uh, that's oh, Yeah, someone nice. said Glenn needs color. I look gray. <laughs> like, I'm, I'm in black and white or something. Uh, yeah. Let me see. If you could only rock mids, Jake would be in. <laughs> You'd be like, if you got that deal, you know what, Jake? Unlimited mids coming your way. Whatever. Yo, you Jake might have the deal though. <laughs> Jake might have already a deal. He just can't talk about it. <laughs> yeah. All right, let's go back to uh, Mamo Dog. Martino finds petty deals, Bobby hustles, and more cleats out there. Phantom GT, and that's the thing that was like more cleats. But where's the Vapor Max? Where's the Air Max 98s, 97s? Uh, let me see. Glenn's an alien. Glenn looking flint. <laughs> flint. Uh, <laughs> flint colorway. No, that's like, <laughs> you look like flint. You look like I mean, flint. Yeah, I'm out here looking like Travis Scott. <laughs> <laughs> like flint. <laughs> uh, let's see. Ross Guru, AM Resales, MC Incorporated. Ross Guru again. There we go. Phantom GT got that flying it. Twenty bucks. Next, Bobby hustles. We got the Floral Cortez, Mile High Hustle, more cleats. Just piling them on. A good six pairs. Uh, DK Foster, a full cart. You got a pretty decent cart, bro. Bam Twenty Four Kicks as well. More cleats. Nothing but cleats. I want to see the Vapor Max cleats again. Brian Ross Guru. Air Max Pusher, 760 Cleater. Well, at least these cleats. I mean, definitely good money. But still, got to get some variation in there. I know, man. It's like the uh, same color, right, too. Yeah. Glenn, you found all the Vapor Max. Well, Burlington, I found some. 
But Ross, we got we got to get something. We got to feed the beast. Looks like Jordan cleats are back. Jordan 11. Yeah, the bread 11s. I don't know if it's small sizes, big sizes, because this guy said size 16, Rocky Mountain resale. But HL uh, W resale says nine and a half. So could be a little mix. Also interesting, it says if perfect on there, on, on all oh, of them. So I don't know. Defect, is it B grade? Double check the tag. Uh, just double C, because you don't want to... You don't want to go through that mess if it is a B grade. Oh, these are the clean. This is the soccer stuff we want to see. Uh, I mean, MC Incorporated. I mean, oh yeah, golf. golf. Sorry, sorry, golf. <laughs> uh, Victory Tour golf wings, thirty bucks. And a little mix. Steady Store, Operation Retag, MC Incorporated, uh, any sneaker finds. So, a little hope for Ross. And more of the Jordans and the same thing with the golf. Man, that is it. That is it for Ross. B, I don't know if you saw this. Which one? Kobe jerseys hitting Ross. Oh, I saw that one. That was crazy. Yeah. They didn't want to go into Ross, but I thought they put it. <laughs> yeah, so Kobe jerseys are out there. And Please the, double yeah, the Raptors, too. The Raptors, OG, Kyrie, Lowry. Oh, yeah. Oh, now, B, would <laughs> B, would you uh, would you rock this? I mean, you know, that might be a pretty good um, a Halloween costume or something. Cop this one, smash this one. <laughs> uh, Stevie D, what up? Save him. Uh, Bam twenty four kicks. Burlington naughty. Oh, depends who you're talking to. If these are naughty or nice. <laughs> <laughs> Let me see. <laughs> Hold up. Kevin says, Kevin, that is awesome. B should have worn that on the beach. A-N. Here's oh. the thing, though. Oh, A-N, you won a giveaway, and I haven't heard from you. And Victor, another guy I haven't heard from. The last guy who won, Thrift and Flip, I did pay him out. But the last, or three or four before that, I just haven't heard anything. So I need to know, hey. for the giveaways, it's your money. It's free money. Talk to me. Miss B might like those. No. <laughs> stinger. <laughs> the, st the stinger. <laughs> you show this and Stevie D shows right up. Lucky on three legs. <laughs> All right. Next one. Richard. We got the AD Kentucky jersey. That's pretty dope. Anthony That's Davis. Cool. Uh, also Richard with the hockey jerseys. Uh, Chicago. Be better if he starts playing better. True. Ooh. Uh, Chai Sneaker Deals, Cartful, Hunt Collections, Raiders, Raider Nation. Uh, let me see. We also got Price Assassins with the glove. I thought this was Marshalls. I don't know. Maybe it is. I mean, he finds anything everywhere. Glenn. I know. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> so, name your store. <laughs> yeah. Uh, flip the script with the KDs. Oh, wow. Uh, sneaker Finds out. 12. Up tempo max, baby. Up tempos. Man, I've never, resells. Yo, I've never seen anybody rock them. Have you? Neither have I. No, that's weird. I haven't seen anybody rock these. Uh, finds and flips also out there. Air Max Plus. Um, next one, Richard again with the React Golf. And we got some cleats, AK Router resells and Ron 23 sells cleats out there. Willie Will. Back at it again. All right, next. JT resells, LeBron Soldier. And let me see what else we got. Oh, there you go, 98, Air Max Plus, some of the Jordans, High Ball Hustle. Are those like nursing shoes? Or this one? Presto? Yeah. Uh, that's a good question. Oh, it's a Presto React, it looks like. Oh, okay. That's, okay. Yeah, it is. Yeah. Uh, Ron 23 sells and resell Freak. Also here with the Pegasus Turbo 2 and the 95 have a Nike Day. Next. Man, big money. Radio. 30 bucks. Congrats Man. on the 97 golf. Dude, I, I'm not gonna lie, I actually went to all Burlington yesterday. <laughs> <laughs> and then I found one vapor cleats. That's it. Oh, that's it. And of yeah, course. It was, it was sad. It was sad. AM resells. 
That's Man, all. That's it. You found, like lucky. Have you found those lucky uh, fives? Mm -mm. I think Brian bought them in my area. Right, Brian? <laughs> I saw Brian the other day. He said he bought them. <laughs> yeah, he got them. Yeah. Uh, loose cannon finds also out yeah, here. Ninety fives. Yeah, there we go. Good money. Round twenty three sales. LeBron backpack and more. Some of the golf. Bam 24 kicks and AM resells, real deal thrifter, big money, and price assassins too. Nice little handful right there on the soccer. So good stuff, man. Uh, let me see. Hustle Shard. So Richard with box. Got the plug. Stacker shoe. Vapor Max. And Vapor Max Plus. Flying it. 720 everything in here same thing with jaw love also got flying it and Vibramax max plus and more uh let me see yeah so brian me and brian had a deal uh i got all the vapor max at one day and then he got all the golf so at least it was <laughs> at least we both came out with something that was <laughs> a fair deal <laughs> <laughs> astro drip we got uh air max plus and we got vapor max and more at least it's good stuff. And Burlington's been bringing some of the That's heat. variety right there. Variety. Yeah, yeah. variety pack. Uh, 95s. 97 sticker finds 12. Nice little Air Max haul. Wow. Soul Searching's on. Foamies. 97s. Air Max Plus. Of course, big money on these as Boy, well. Look at that Vapor Max right there. That's OG. That's Flying It 2, Glenn. Is that Flying It 2 or Flying It 3? Uh, this one right here? Yeah. No, that's a good question. No, it is three. Three, it's a yeah, three. It. But, but it's still, like, I haven't seen this color. Yeah, that's like the earliest uh, colorway. Yeah, that's, man. So one-off resale, KCA shoes. I mean, good stuff. Cartfuls out there. You got a pretty decent cart, bro. Uh, Nick says, damn, how big are them foams? <laughs> I guess uh, like half the cart. All right, we're done. Marshall's back at it, baby, at number one. I'm going to show you why. Maple finds with the jerseys, Winnipeg. And so the practice jerseys, good money out there. But that's not why we're here. Big money, Mo, complete with box. We got the football. We got sneaker finds 12. We got cleats, the silver boxes, R&J funky finds, Mike Bibby, Arizona jersey. Something you don't see every day, Marshalls. I don't know. It's thrift. Yeah. <laughs> But this jersey, I don't even remember. This must have came out a long time ago, too, though. Like, I don't remember this coming out recently. Yeah, that was like a remake for Arizona or something. Something. <clears throat> uh, Marshall's number one. What a time, says Miles. Willie Will out here with the Polo Bear. New York, 60 bucks. Keep going. Gold boxes are still out there, but not while we're here. Not why Marshall's is number one. Not because yeah. of these or Man. silver boxes. Indy finds, Casey Flip, and more gold boxes, Cartful. All right, keep going. We got Jordan. Wow. Some of the cleats. Jordan one TD mid twenty bucks. Twenty bucks. Twenty bucks everywhere. Edgar's finds maximum twenty three hundred. My boy Eddie, uh, both of them size nine MC incorporated three pairs. Uh, it's a 90s retro jersey, Richard. Exactly. I remember that one. I remember the Paul Pierce one. There's a couple of other ones that they made. Um, maybe Jason Kidd. I don't remember. Uh, Legend 8 Elite AM resells. Stealthy finds. Look at all this. Man, look at the other box, too. That, like this one? Pearl Metal. Yeah. Yeah. There we I'm go. Box. Panhandle deals somewhere in Florida. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Interesting. Like we're going there for our hustle. I heard yeah. you talk about that. Hmm. Interesting. I am lazy. Uh, let me see. <laughs> wow. Nice. <laughs> so, man, cartfuls. We're not done. This is why we're here. Stealthy finds apparently has a Marshalls like no other. Right. 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 There are Jordan cleats. There's soccer cleats. There's Air Force. Right. There's even Jordan 11 lows. I Man. mean, why not at this point, right? For everybody, you know, all sport, all lifestyles, you know? Yeah, whoever wants in, here we go. 60 bucks. And 
Adding to that, he had a full cart full of Air Max 90 or the Air Max 3, whatever you want to call them, but more Jordan 11 lows I with the box under box top underneath. I can't remember when the last time I had to use two cars Marshalls. Yeah, exactly. Right? Man, this is... Yeah, what Marshalls is this? That's what we got to figure out. Never seen this. Hustle right. resells. Look at that box, too. With the Safari CR7. Yeah. If you if you join my Discord, I'll show you. I'll share you the zip code. <laughs> <laughs> just just the zip code. Yeah, just the location. So just... <laughs> that would be one in my Discord. <laughs> all, all hot stores in America. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see. Maxwell finds fire. Two Marshalls carts, two thirds of a normal cart intramorph. Let me see. Big money mo laugh my ass. We got 200 plus watching. Hit that like button because of the Yeezy Season 5 jackets. Now there's jackets and there's hoodies. This is what you need so, to be looking for. One off resale found this. Did money big money mo found this too? I believe so. And there's oh, there's a couple more people that did. He found the essential hoodies too, right? Yeah, the so. the hoodies, the stripper jackets. Mm -hmm. I think those are the only two that I've seen so far that people have uh, mm -hmm. tagged us in. So Man, this is where, where Marshalls takes over. And it's wild because like, they look like kind of like the off-brand Sherpa jackets too, right? Yeah, exactly. Like you're not paying attention. Yeah, and I think they're all purple tag, right? They have to be, yeah, yeah, because they're like uh, – so this one has to be on those like runway uh, Marshall slash – TJ Maxx home goods, you know what I'm saying? Like the ones that has like Gucci and stuff. Yeah, you gotta have one of those fancy ass Marshalls that do yeah. have uh yeah. the purple tags. If you don't, you're never gonna come across this. It'll be highly unlikely. Uh yeah. but what are some of those some of those fancy marshals that we've that we've been to that did have purple tag? I'm trying to remember. There was there was one in Chicago, remember? Where we had pizza right after it. Uh, oh yeah, I remember that one. Yeah, and then we oh we got the frames there. Remember the Supreme frames? That's right. Yeah, that's where we got them because that's where mm. they show up mostly because they're usually like right by a uh, like the joining stores with the Home Goods. Yeah, Marshall Home Goods or like TJ Maxx Home Goods. Man, it might be it might be time to check out TJ Maxx if this is popping at Marshalls. And that's very true too. Check TJ yeah. Maxx and Marshalls. Six jackets, five hoodies, big money mo. Man, big money mo, a medium, please. <laughs> and what was the other what was the other comment we had on here? Oh, uh, Kanye on uh, the base. Yeah, the, I mean the super basic stuff. But I mean the thing is to keep in mind too, StockX is now an option on some of this stuff. So <laughs> yeah, yeah, for real. I mean, there's there's options on selling these. So there we go. TJ, I uh, got TJ with purple tags. Maybe we'll take a visit. There we go, Dapper. Let us yeah. know how much were they. Good question yeah, from Connor. Like, especially like on like East Coast or the like colder side, we might still have like jackets and stuff like this mm -hmm. getting pulled out. Very true. So look out for that. So power rankings this week. Marshall's taking over from Yeezy jackets, hoodies, Jordan 11 lows, Air Max 3, cleats, and golf, gold boxes, silver boxes, everything Marshall's number one right now. Burlington four, Vapor Max, Vapor Max Plus, Flyknit threes, and Ross. Uh, some cleats, Kobe jersey. That's about it. I mean Ross. What else can I do? What else can I say? Giveaway time. Are we ready? Like I said, the last couple of giveaways. Okay, haven't really been claimed, but uh, we'll do. We'll do twenty five. 25 going forward and we'll try to mix it up to see what we can do people have been asking about hustler hogs the thing is is that when we did hustler hogs at the very end people weren't showing up for the lives and that was the thing that kind of sucked it's like <laughs> yeah and then now could have like, win yeah now there's like 300 people watching every time so it might be that might be perfect time to bring it back man it could be so we can work on that i mean i'm not against bringing it back but yeah we have to have that interest that fire that fuel that we yep. want it. All right, giveaway time. How many are listed? Brand new. <laughs> we just saw it. Probably like 
that and then big money most so my answer glenn would be 12. all right b says 12. i need the right answer give me a number someone already got it i'm sure they just copied my answer michael duran you are correct 17. oh b was very close close always close so easy money only 17 listed please go to marshall's and tj maxx maybe tj maxx will make its way back into the power rankings right if you find some easy stuff out there so congrats mike you have won all right remove this b well you're a little pixeled but anything else before we go you're um, a little pixeled but at least you're not flint you're not flint <laughs> colorway <laughs> <laughs> You're looking a little pale today. You look I, like <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. I love it. That's man, the, uh, back to back drops. You know what I'm saying? Um, that's what we talked about. Yeah, we yeah, got the so. uh, the 11 lows. We got the sevens. Low, sevens. So. And pff, drops every week here on out. Yeah. Yeah. It's going to be back to back to back. So I'm just trying to, you know, quick those, quick this next two drops fast. Flip them. Quick flip them is what I meant. Okay. So there's advice from the B. We are done. And B joined us a little late. They want to see you early and ready to go. But I was like, hey, there's no guarantee. Not only that, I said B had a big month in sales. There might get to a point where B's not even here for the live show. Oh, like, man. Big money for B. Big money B. Big money B. I'm going to change my name now. Big money Big money B. <laughs> You know, I could buy a t-shirt now, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> buy me a haircut. Yes, sir. Looking slick. All right. We'll see you guys next week, and Friday's video. De Mayo, everybody. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> All right. <laughs> well All right, guys. See you. Glenn left already. <laughs>